Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to take a look at 2024 Winnebago Access, model number 30BH, a new brand from Winnebago, bringing them into that wood frame aluminum skin family. We got separate bunks in the back, a full size slide, separate bedroom, great floor plan in the middle of it, weighing around 7,200 pounds. I watched Fast and Furious last night. This one's family. I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan and I are on the camera today. What's going on, happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. We have a like and subscribe button sitting down there if you don't mind clicking it. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think about Winnebago doing this style of trailer. I appreciate it. I think this is beautiful. Enjoy this trailer. Rolls on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Right on, Brennan. Great looking gloss on this exterior metal. Very, very shiny. We just had this at the show, and my goodness, it was reflecting all kinds of light. Front power jack, 30 power paint tanks, battery in a box location in behind. I gotta check this out though, Brendan. Winnebago jukes us. They juke us on the, the propane tank sometimes. So they, this is definitely a 30 pound cover. I bet it's, I'm gonna bet I 20s. Bet you, really, eh? Yeah, I'm feeling that. You're going 20. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna find out here in real time. Leave a comment down below if you like us wasting time here. 20 pound propane ha! tanks, good work, brother. Well, I'm glad I checked. <laughs> yeah, I All right. Too. Pass through storage going all the way through there to the other side. We do have a solar panel on the roof already. We have power jacks underneath that are individually switched as well. Rack and pinion style slide point our couch and our dine now off the floor. Rack and pinion, baby. Thank you, brother. 15 inch tires, steel rims, but chrome don't get you home. Outside shower, city water connection, black water flush get done from in here. You also have cable and satellite inlet. Sewer drain down here and a sewer drain in front of the tires. We have 50 amp detachable style service. Right here is a full size spare. We're gonna put that beautiful lazy acre tire cover on there. We've got a one piece roof, which is just how I like my grandmother's bathing suits. We're prepped up here at the top for a lipper uh, ladder. We're also prepped at the top there for a backup camera. We have a nice bike door from the outside in where the bunk is gonna fold up. Bunk window, bunk window. Here are those individual switches I was talking about for the electric jacks. An electric awning starting here, going all the way forward, covering our main door by two or three feet so where that driving rain isn't gonna come in. Right here we have our outside kitchen with our two cubic foot electric fridge. We've also got that griddle in through here. Very nice and tidy outside kitchen, not taking up very much space inside at all. Fridge vent, furnace vent, outside receptacle, six gallon gas, electric water heater, fresh water fill right there. Lend a hand, grab handle, free step entrance up and in. Say that five times fast. The other side of our pass through storage. And look at this, Brendan, our pass through storage is heated off the furnace. And now, what's that? We're prepped for side mount cameras. We are prepped for side mount cameras. Great eye, Brendan. Must be those glasses you're wearing. Now, as we come in the unit, the slide's still closed. Let's see what kind of travel access we have. So we're getting to our bedroom. We're shimmying around the kitchen countertop here and able to get to our fridge on the side of the road. But we cannot get to the bathroom until we open up the slide. Let's get this guy opened up. Right on folks, we're inside that Access 30BH Winnebago and we got some great things that go through all the lines of the Winnebago. One of the things is all the bright interiors, eh Brandon? Beautiful interior. It, it's so fresh in here, which is just great. We've got our booth dinette here up and down for a secondary bed if you want to. They put the doors here on the end of the dinette to make that easy to get in and out, uh, get your stuff in and out. You notice there's no carpet here in the slide, which is a great feature, really brightening things up as well. Theater seats in through here. I can imagine there's a uh, tri-fold sofa option here, Brennan. I know there isn't a 25 ml, so I believe there's one in through here. We got four windows out in the slide, bring in nice natural light, and we have the pleated blinds throughout as well. Our TV location is here, it's a Sansui. Cover space here across the top. Cover space here on the bottom. And then as we come in the door, we've got like this lifted kind of bar area, uh, which just kind of separates off the kitchen space from the entry space. You can leave some stuff propped up in through here. Our controls for everything are in through here, like our slide and our electric awning. And then all kinds of kitchen cupboard space here across the top. You know what I like, Brendan? They give you some separation here. Not just a shelf, but also a vertical uh, separation there, which is cool. We have our other mount stainless steel sink with our nice plastic uh, sink inserts there. Three drawers here down below. 
You'll notice there's no furnace ducts in the floor. They actually build them into the furniture. And that looks like a pretty slick one in there. We got cupboard space here for garbage can. And then we got a pop down piece here for breakers and fuses. And then a pot and pan drawer right through here. Three burner cooktop, range hood, microwave. And then we have the 12 volt fridge option on through here. Gotta love that. Return air for our furnace and then check out this pantry location here. Awesome stuff. One more drawer. Bingo bango. And then here's our washer. You want to get after it? Yeah. Let's go into here first. So a pantry location there as well. There's a lot of pantry and storage in this model. Into the bathroom we have a porcelain toilet. Dump truck fits. Covered right through there. Sink. A nice big mirror, Brennan. I like mirrors. I'm sure you can imagine why. <laughs> All right, into the shower here. I'm six feet tall. Lots of height here. Nice, uh, you know, solid shower basin through here. I love this. Look at this, Brennan. Nice little furnace duct in the bathroom. Nice and tidy. Very, very clean lines on this guy. And then I love this. We get the double over double bunk action, but there's a door separating it off. Double over double, both bunks have windows, both bunks have rece uh, receptacles and USBs. And this part of the bunk here is gonna fold up. And then you can drive your larger storage items in here from the outside. Nice little cubbies right here with the receptacle to maybe park a, uh, a TV or something like that here for the kids, eh, Brandon? Hair straightener, perhaps? Is it a TV spot? No, not necessarily, but who uses coax these days anyways, you know what I mean? Exactly. Plug something in there, that's awesome. <laughs> Feeling good with the bunk, bathroom, and living space, Brennan? I am. I like this trailer. This is really nice, man. Very high end for a wood frame unit. Yeah, you're absolutely right. We got <clears throat> hanging on either side. Oh. So you put shelves in? Yeah, you can there put you shelves put the... in. They already have the pre-cuts there. That's cool. That is very cool. Right, because a lot of times you're not hanging things up necessarily, right? You just want to put some shelves in. We've got this cubby around the side here. A shelf down below with a receptacle and the USB on either side. And then there's also a drawer here down below the bed as well. And then we're going to have storage here underneath the bed. Look at that. So we have like the cubby holes on either side that we can get to from the top. And there's an open spot right here. Maybe shove some duffel bags in through there. Hey? Clever. Clever, brother. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.